guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog today i am or oh, today and tomorrow actually i'm vlogging um uh, tom's actually away in london so it is just me and of course barney and we've got a couple of days to ourselves. and i've also got a couple of events on so i thought i would just pick up the camera chat to you guys seeing as though tom's away and i haven't got him to chat to and uh yeah so today i am starting off with an appointment at Jo Malone in Selfridges in Manchester. I've got a hair on my nose, I can't. You know when you like, it's not one of my hair, I think it's one for my makeup brush. <sighs> oh, anyway, um, I've got an appointment at Jo Malone to discover, I think we're discovering a bit about some new, or their rose collection, some maybe new scents, I don't know, but we'll soon find out. I need to get on the road pretty sharpish. And um, so that's this morning, and then I'm meeting with, with Lydia as well today. She's coming to the appointment as well. And then tomorrow, um, we've got an event again in the morning with Glossier. We've got like a yoga and lunch event at the Lowry Hotel, so that should be really fun. And Zen as well, because we all know I need a bit of Zen, and I just enjoy. I enjoy a morning event more than an evening event with this kind of industry because I find myself, if it's an evening event, I find myself like thinking about the event, like the build up to the event, like kind of clock watching, not really being that productive. Whereas in a morning event, it's like get up, I've walked the dog, I've got dressed, I'm pretty much now ready to set off straight to the event, not too much time to like overthink things and just get to the event, enjoy it, and then I've got the rest of the day to like come home and be productive. So that's the plan for this video. I'll show you what I'm wearing as well quickly. I just have a basic white tee on, some mango jeans, the t-shirt's from Primark. This belt is from Simple Retro, and then my blazer, if I come down a little bit, is from NAKD. Can you see that pattern? I love it so much, like a herringbone tweed type fabric. This was the collaboration that Lydia, my friend who I'm seeing today, did with NAKD. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing. And with my bestie, Lydia, we have arrived at Selfridges. Oh, We've arrived at Selfridges. No, it's all right. Um, just went to the quick toilet and then we're gonna go and see Ooh. Jo Malone. We're very excited for this little one. Oh, do you think it's gonna be like a hand and arm massage again? I hope so. Oh, yeah, it's nice when they do that. <laughs> Same. Yeah. So you've got red roses, which is from our main collection. Yeah, it's very classic. Yeah, I do like it. Rose though. blush, which is our brand new one. Yeah, I probably prefer that one. I yeah. feel like I might like I this one though. Yeah. This one's my favourite. That one's always watery in vanilla. I do like vanilla scent. Do you? Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Um, I quite, so, yeah. know you really like rose yeah. so I'm going to show you layered with English pear and Oh nice, okay. That's one of which are very decadent. It's amazing how well they like work together. That's the English pear and freezer. Can you smell it already? Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. It's coconut, white chocolate chocolate. Thank you. So this one it's like, you, you can't really smell the rose in it until it's... I didn't even know there was rose no, in it. I guess no, Freesia yeah. that was a little bit floral. Yes. It's got caffeine in there as well, so it's really nice to use in the morning. Oh, nice. Thank you. We're doing white company, of course, with the white company as well. So we've just come out of the event. We did very kindly get gifted a perfume. I'll show you that when I get back home. We did very kindly get gifted a perfume. I'll show you that when I get back home. Um, just with Lydia still, we still, oh, she's still here. Still here. <laughs> and we're just m and In fact, I'll tell you where I could go. Oh, have you heard Hope Sense is closing in the Arndale? No. Mm. I, I was going to say the Arndale, I need or? to go to Hotel Shopper. Uh, I don't, no, I don't think so. It's just going. Yeah. Honest, so there's I a lot of city centre as well. Like who's yeah. buying big mirrors and stuff in city centre. But anyway, we're just in m and I'm thinking about do I pick up some food before heading back. We're back in tomorrow for another event, yeah, so I could do with getting back and just getting some work done this afternoon anyway. I just feel like when you're here. I know, you may as well, and we're not in city centre tomorrow. So I've just left Lydia and I've come to a place called Sostrain Green. I've talked about this place before. They've got loads of really nice like homeware bits. And this little tin. And baked crisp bread. I'm going to show you some things that are in store. I've got myself a basket. Yeah, it's just like 
kind of a bit of like an Ikea type place, cute little knickknacks, very affordable prices, like these wooden spoons I love, £2.73 each, thinking ahead for the kitchen, getting some new books, but yeah, it's lovely. We're in, back in the car, all loaded up with the bags, bags plural, because I have been done a little bit of damage and came out via m and and grabbed myself a um, wrap, chicken Caesar wrap, because this car park that I'm in is the m and car park, so when we had a look earlier, I was like, mm, I'll come back and do an m and shop. I've got some food, seeing as though Tom's away for a couple of nights, treat myself to some m and food. Um, I don't know whether to like show you those bits or maybe do an M&S haul and go back and do some shopping for the fashion so I've got some homework items as well but anyway for now sandwich time wrap time mm. there's just nothing quite like m &S, is there you've got to go back to Barney I want to go back to him because he's mm. why would I take him out for when I'm talking He's not in daycare today. I have booked him in tomorrow because the event that we're going to tomorrow with it being yoga and lunch, this was just a 45 minute appointment at Joe Malone. I know I've ended up spending longer because I've been to the shops, but I don't mind leaving him for a couple of hours. But yeah, with by the time that we go to the event tomorrow, I think it might be quite a few hours maybe. Well, just in case anyway, I can and take my time to get back, get on with some work and tidy up the house tomorrow afternoon before picking him up. So yeah, he's in daycare tomorrow. So he'll be wondering where I am today. Empty house as well, no builders. I do get a bit funny about leaving him at home if the builders are in. I don't know why, because then he's got company. I just feel like potentially the builders might leave a door open. Potential for escape. Not that I don't think Barney would escape, but you just don't know, do you? You're not on constant watch. Lopsy tan. So I came home to this parcel, but I have also got a couple of other PR parcels. I thought I might take you upstairs in a sec, maybe make a coffee, maybe get into my comfies because as much as I love blazer and jeans, I don't like to lounge in them at the house. And I'm only planning on editing for the rest of this afternoon, bar a dog walk. So I'll make a coffee, go get comfy, take you upstairs and show you some PR bits. But I'll show you the bits that we did that I did get from today anyway, whilst I'm down here. So Jo Malone, oh, I just love a Jo Malone purchase, I'm not gonna lie. This selection of products, I was a little bit dubious with the whole roses collection that we were discovering, because their Red Roses perfume, I'm not a fan of that scent, it's too, I don't know, it's like a real mature classic kind of very rose heavy. I think they said that there's loads of different roses, maybe 12, did he say? 12 different rose varieties within that perfume. So it's very like, oh. It's a bit like lavender, isn't it? I personally love lavender, but I can see why people don't. Roses for me is like that. Having said that, a couple of perfumes I do have and like from Joe Malone. He did say there are elements of rose in that. For instance, English pear and freesia. Oh my goodness, I've just seen the box. How adorable is that? I have never seen them do love heart boxes before. Is that normal? Do they do that? Oh, and look. They've included a candle as well. So they've got the classic red roses scent that they have, but then they've also brought out two other rose base scented products, which is this one, which is the cologne. This was my favorite uh, scent of the three. So there was red roses, then there was this one, rose water and vanilla, and it's a bit more like, oh yeah, that is quite nice actually. It's like um, the vanilla. I think it's the vanilla that I'm liking in that because it's a bit more unisex. You know, like I'm not all for the florals and the um, that kind of thing. However, this one was my second favorite, Rose Blush. This is the other new one that they've got because it's got basil in it. And again, I quite like the herby. I wore basil and Neroli from Jo Malone today as my perfume. So in a candle, I can imagine this in summer would be lovely to burn. So they've kindly gifted us candle and I love these little matches just the Jo Malone classics with the black matches so thank you so 
much to Jo Malone. That was so kind of you. And I'm just obsessed with that box, quite frankly. I think it's gorgeous. What a lovely, like, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day type gift to give and receive. So that's what we got at Jo Malone. I also popped into Lululemon. Well, myself and Lydia were both popped into Lululemon because um, we've got this yoga event tomorrow and I've got my Lululemon Align leggings, which I'm going to wear. And I've heard great things about the Align top and I've only got the, the Amazon dupe version. So I wanted to get the official version because as much as I love the Amazon dupe version, you guys know I talk about the Align dupes on Amazon that I love. I'll leave them linked. And I do have a couple of pairs of the leggings, but the top, I feel like the Align top is better. Or it's just different. It's, it's different um, from actual Align Lululemon. So yeah, it's like a kind of tank top. I like the V V neck. And then that's what it's just got the little Lululemon logo on the back. So I'm planning on just wearing this. My Lululemon black leggings, Align leggings. I've got my Lululemon like coverall that I might put on. My yoga throw I think it's called but anyway I picked up that Lululemon is not the cheapest but the quality superb leggings are usually about 88 pounds and the align top is 45 then I've got some treats from Hotel Chocolat I just got these for Valentine's now I picked up two things because I wanted to give these to Tom I've got him some hopefully he's not watching he's definitely not watching who am I kidding I got in fact, when's this video going live? This video is going live after Valentine's anyway, so it's fine. I got him some of these lovebirds, but because they're raspberry and white chocolate, I actually think I'll end up eating those. I don't know if he'll love them, but they were the kind of Valentine's Day thing. I didn't want to get him a big box of chocolates because we're kind of being a little bit healthier, somewhat healthier. And um, I thought these were just a nice little, little chocolate but then I thought, mm, let me just get something that I know he'll like. So I've got these dark macaroons. Recently discovered these macaroons. Incredible. So nice. And he likes dark chocolate as well as milk. So this one was 20% off as well. Needs to be consumed soon. It goes out of date this month, but we'll eat it by Valentine's, so that's fine. And yeah, just little macaroons. So I got them from Hotel Chocolat. I did pop into the White Company to see if they had any... Uh, pajamas like in the sale or anything honestly they didn't have any sale items they had a tiny little stand with about three things on it like lids missing on a room spray that kind of thing so there wasn't really anything on there there's definitely more online so i've ordered him some pajamas and something else what else did i get something else online so that's his little valentine's day gift from me and then i went into sustrain green i feel like i butcher that name every time i say it so i do apologize but got quite a haul i'm not gonna lie so i'll whiz through these bits firstly some tea i got some peppermint tea top up because my delta farm one is running low and then i've got some organic herbal tummy love in a mug tea so this one's with ginger turmeric and cardamom that's why i think i'm liking peppermint tea i feel like it's nice on the tummy a bit tmi um but i just want to get a hold of my gut health let's just say that and probably down to diet a lot of it i'm not gonna lie i probably need to eat better i feel like regardless i do love ginger tea i picked up some tea lights these i'm going to use with a, a wax melt and i bought something for the first ever time from tiktok shop i feel like i'm too not cool enough to say that but i made my first tiktok shop purchase I'll show you that when I go upstairs. So I bought that for them. And also, I have, I've said this before with their tea lights, but I like the fact that they're clear. So with wax melts, wax melt burns and things, they just look nicer than the silver, cheaper ones. Got these. I had actually gone in looking for these because I've seen them online. And they do these wooden scoops. And I picked up three of the darker coloured ones. These kind of like acacia wooded spoons i just think these are a great size for popping within jars or oh, i could even use them within like um these kind of jars that i've got i've got a couple up here but if i put some laundry powder in one i feel like they'd be quite nice or some unstoppables how satisfying would that be uh but yeah i actually got these with the intention of popping them within the kitchen with like flour rice that kind of thing so I picked up three of those. They were only £2.98 each. And then I got one of this colour because I thought this one would be really nice 
um, either in here in the utility, but I was thinking in a bathroom for bath salts. So I'm thinking about maybe decanting some of my bath salts. I've at the minute just got a big bag of West Lab magnesium salts on my bath tray, but I feel like it would look nicer in a jar with a scoop. So I might do that within like a little TikTok video because I'm a TikToker now. <laughs> I also got this for the kitchen for the future kitchen once it's all installed and ready um, and it's a trivet like a seagrass trivet for hot pans and it was £3.88 I just thought that looked kind of white company style love that and then what else did I get oh I got some more tea this one's a moments of hygge at £2.40 and this one's a herbal tea with lemongrass cinnamon ginger and hibiscus so I think I'm gonna like the warm kind of I'm not in focus why am I so shiny? <laughs> so I feel like I'm going to enjoy the kind of spiciness to that tea. Oh, I also grabbed these on the checkout. I just thought they looked nice. 98p, just a bag of, you know, those like vegetable crisps. And then also these crisps as well. They're the, they're like a focaccia, rosemary focaccia. They had like a pizza flavour as well, but I went for the rosemary. Maybe with some hummus. These are good for like months. Yeah, September they expire so i thought i'll grab them and just a little nicer to put out as a nibbles you know if you've got people coming over the last thing that i got from them this is essentially their version of fairy washing up liquid looks nicer and um it's got a really nice kind of dispenser the one that i've currently got it's also with organic aloe vera in clean harmony the one that i'm currently using is this one from uh neptune which don't get me wrong I love a Neptune purchase, but as far as a washing up liquid goes, it's kind of like a bit awkward to use, like with this pump, and also it's a heavy glass bottle. So I'm not gonna lie, as much as I like it, and obviously I've used that much already, a little goes a long way with washing up liquid, you know. So I have been using it for a few weeks now, but I actually like it for the aesthetic more than anything. So I feel like I will still use that, but honestly, just the ease and the convenience of just, I think, this will be my go-to and then I can use that rosemary and thyme one the Neptune one maybe upstairs I couldn't like style it up up there once the kitchen's done um but yeah that's everything that I got um let's make a brew is a brew a tea or a coffee I think it's a tea isn't it but a peppermint brew and head on upstairs and I'll show you some PR bits as well that I've been sent um not much but I'll show you regardless. Which mug are we gonna go for? We literally have two out at the minute, so this is my only choice because I've been putting everything in storage. With this temporary kitchen setup, I just want minimal things. So we've only got two mugs. We've got Christmas, Emma Ridge Water, or we've got a Primark Home. So I'm gonna go with Primark Home. This one's a little bit bigger, which I feel like is better for tea. That's the drink to have a bigger mug with, is tea. Salesford Organic. Peppermint infusion tea. First bit of PR mail I thought I'd show is this, because we can get it on now. It is a tracksuit from Elevane. Elevine. Elevine. Um, this is the brand their socials handles and this is what they very kindly sent me excuse me Come on. <laughs> what is that is that for you i don't think so so anyway they've sent me some socks some cozy socks ow gosh it's so heavy when he stands on your feet also this sweatshirt in a medium and it's got their branding on again what it looks like kind of like a basic crew neck sweatshirt and then they've also very kindly sent me a t-shirt to go underneath and this one is also in a medium that one's got the black font though and then the matching joggers to go with that sweatshirt which looks like so and again these are in a medium super soft on the inside so nice so i'm going to try this on and wear this i think for the rest of the afternoon oh yeah they are a little bit big around the waist to me so i would need to cinch them in a little bit nice and comfy though sun is gleaming though so ignore that but this is what the tracksuit looks like i am actually going to pop these socks on with it because i only had trainer socks on with my trainers this morning and i can't get cozy around the house unless if i've got some proper socks on bigger socks than just trainer socks yeah this is what it looks like i'll leave a link to this below
we feel a little bit like something off uh, Orange is the New Black, you know, when the women all wear the... Is it grey tracksuits? I think it is, isn't it? I haven't watched that in so long. We never actually finished it. I feel like that's a series that I never really finished. And another one that I never really finished but wanted to, and I feel like I need to start again, is Handmaid's Tale. It's a good storyline, isn't it? I feel like the actual premise of the initial series, the initial show, I do think is really good. So maybe we'll give that a try, maybe with Tom. We just need, we need time. I feel like we as a couple struggle to find time to sit and watch TV together. And I like to watch a series with him so that we can discuss it. So obviously like tonight and tomorrow night, for instance, Tom being away, perfect opportunity for me to binge a series or two. But I do like to, yeah, discuss a series. So I will be watching Love Island without him because he's not fussed for that, is he? Anyway, let me share with you these PR bits with my tea. Mmm. So good. What is it about a warm drink that is just so wholesome? <laughs> Love it. I did also get this though. This is not quite as wholesome, but still, again, good for the gut. And also, I do quite like a ginger shop. We went to a brunch place in Wilmslow called Juniper on the weekend. Oh, and this is so tame in comparison. It's got apple juice, which they said that they had apple juice in theirs. And this shot, this ginger shot, oh, it was ginger. <laughs> These are the m and ones, but I can't wait to um, start making my own again once we've got the kitchen in. I have to admit guys, living in a Renault, it's tough. If anyone out there has done it, hats off to you because I really am at a point where it's like, it's hard. And I still, I still live by the fact that we've lived through the worst of it in terms of when we were doing the top two floors and living without a bathroom for a few months, having to go to the gym every day. And some days just like head down, not even doing a workout, just going straight to the bathroom to have a shower. Um, I uh, just, that was, hard but because it, it was at the beginning of the Renault we were still excited for it and everything so yes it was tough but it was manageable whereas now we're 18 months on we're without a kitchen without a ground floor basically and yes we've got the basement which we've kind of temporarily set up as a kitchen and a living room which I'm so grateful to have that space just to separate the bedroom so you can kind of come up to bed still but Without a kitchen and without a space to host, we haven't even, you know, like we've not got a sofa, we've not got anyone that if anyone did pop over to even just sit and have a coffee, like, what, you can come and sit in the bed? Like, we just don't have a sofa. We've got the bean bags, but that's not exactly comfy for like my parents to go and sit and have a coffee on, but, mm, it's hard. And if anyone's about to do one, be prepared. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, I'm still saying it'll all be worth it in the end, and I think it will be. What do you want? You just want some loving. Oh, I think he wants a WALK, don't you? Yes, you do. In the meantime, let's shimmy these things over <laughs> to show you what I've got. I'll show you my TikTok shop patches first, because this is so exciting. Maybe a little bit dangerous that I now can shop on TikTok shop and it's very easy to do as well. But I got this and it's a, like a mold thing that you put within a wax melt burner so that the wax obviously sits within here and it just makes cleaning the wax melt burner really easily because the actual item itself doesn't get any wax on it. The wax sits in here and then this just so you can lift out and just pop out the wax melt because of the shape of it. Super easy. It was 90p as well. I did order just the one, but I feel like I need to order one for every wax melt burner. So I'll leave a link to them as well because I thought that was genius. And then what else did I get? B&M very kindly sent me a air fryer. Now obviously we've got an air fryer, which is amazing. It's a game changer. And for each and every one of you, when I got that air fryer and said, oh, I'm just kind of like putting it to one side, that said, just use it, you will never look back. I feel like we are fully converted. It's so easy, so much easier to clean than cleaning an oven as well. And it is music to my ears that we will continue to use that air fryer even once the kitchen is done. 
making my life a lot easier having to not clean the oven as often. But anyway, I've got another one. So this is just like a single one. It's from B&M. They're only £49, which I think is so affordable. Quite a good size though. Good size for if you want to do like a full big roast chicken at the minute we can only really do a small one because our air fryer is is two compartments so it's like half the size whereas that's like one big one thank you so much to b&m for sending me that and then from moroccan oil i love moroccan oil their actual oil moroccan oil treatment is so good so they've got what have they done here uh, okay they are presenting partner eurovision song contest so they've done this limited edition packaging but i'm assuming yeah it's just the usual treatment this is actually the light version which i quite like it's just the light version is just a little it's lighter than the original if you like a really thick oil go for the original but if you just want something a bit lighter less kind of dense and greasy um then this is a good version and as you can tell they've done nice fun colorful packaging definitely recommend and an essential within my hair care routine any kind of oil but moroccan oil is my favorite but any kind of oil just a couple of pumps run it through your ends of your hair once it's styled that's how i use it and i love it then from loxitan showed you i got a box from them oh, they have kindly sent me over some new goodies we've got a uh, sensitive skin shower cream that's finally rummaging through ah, ah, ah. and a sensitive skin rich body lotion as well and then this i've never seen these products before they have a cbd in them and lavender part of the lavender range a body milk and this one is a relaxing hand and foot cream oh and then they've also sent me another box with some more bits in so in here we've got again one of these lavender oil body milks and then also from that range a massage oil and then a Oh, I've never tried one of these before. The one minute hand scrub. Immortal Reset, I've tried that. It's a really nice kind of like reset oil serum type thing. And then this, the Dry and Sensitive Skin Intensive Hand Balm. Thank you so much to them. And last but not least for some PR mail that I received over the last couple of days is from Babor, Dr. Babor. And they've sent, oh, these sound like a bit of me, deep cleansing pads. So you've got 20 pieces in here. And then I see you've got a container to pop them in afterwards. But these are deep cleansing pads that you can use to remove your makeup. The cleanser, the Phyto Hyol Booster Calming Cleanser. It's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, the Refined Cellular Rebalancing Liquid. Let me know if any of you have tried any of these products, by the way, and what you think with them. And a dual eye solution. I definitely need to get on to using more eye creams. So this has two products. It's got a night cream and a day cream what a lovely pick me up this morning well just i say this morning it's already getting on to late afternoon him being ready for a dog walk but um yeah just such a lovely day today i just feel so grateful to each and every brand that sends me stuff honestly it's amazing obviously i'm sure you guys can appreciate i can't get through all of these products so what i tend to do is either donate duplicates maybe try things out that i think i know i'm gonna love and um give others to charity or if i have tried anything maybe like but again i don't need it um friends and family so yeah i'm just i'm just feeling grateful so so grateful so let me know one thing in the comments that you are feeling grateful for today um but yeah apart from that i'm gonna get on with some editing for the rest of today and i will see you guys tomorrow very excitingly for our yoga and lunch with Glossier. Good morning, it is the next day, as you can tell. I am ready for yoga. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I obviously wouldn't go to yoga ordinarily with makeup on and yeah, I mean, I haven't put tan on. That is one thing that I did think about doing. I thought, no, I'm not gonna go as far as doing tan just because if we sweat it off and I don't know, I'm wearing a white coverall as well, so. I decided against the tan. However, I do feel a little bit pasty, I'm not gonna lie. So um, anyway, this is my outfit for doing yoga with Glossier this morning. So I'm all Lululemon today. My leggings, which you guys know I love and talk about all the time, the Align ones. My new Align top that I bought yesterday. This is what it looks like from the back. It's just got the little Lulu logo. And then this was a Cheshire Oaks outlet find at the Lululemon store there, which is just like a bat wing 
ribbed knit kind of, I think they call it a yoga cover up or something so that you can kind of start doing your yoga practice with this on. But then like if you're getting a bit of a sweat on, you can take it off and then you can always put it back on at the end when you do a bit of relaxation and meditation, which I feel like I need this morning. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit like apprehensive as always before any kind of event or anything that's outside of the house. I was listening to the Giovanna Fletcher's, um, her podcast that she's done with Sophie Hinchliffe this morning, Mrs. Hinch. I've always said Hinchcliffe as well, and it's not, it's Hinchliffe, isn't it? But I was listening to her podcast this morning, and I just feel like I can really relate to Mrs. Hinch, to Sophie. I feel like she's also the sort of person, she's talked about it before, how like cleaning is her like therapy. She is an anxious person. She gets anxiety. She really struggles and with that and cleaning for her is like, I, I guess I can relate to that in the sense of busy hands, tidy mind, that kind of frame of mind. Like if I keep myself distracted, like when I get to the event, I'm chatting to people, we're doing yoga, we're like, you know, networking. I almost do feel worse now, like before the event than I do in the event anyway. So I don't know, it's self-sabotage. I mean, <laughs> there's no point feeling like this because when I get there and I get chatting, I might still have a level of anxiety, but more often than not, when I get into an event and I start to relax and I start to chill out, then I think, why was I even worried? <laughs> Especially leaving an event, I'm always like, that was really good. Like yesterday after Gemini, I was like, I loved that. That was really nice. Chatting to a few people. Nice hand and arm massage. Like today we're having a nice yoga. It's maybe the lunch is something that's maybe a little bit like in the back of my mind. Oh, we've got to eat. Is it going to be a big portion? Am I going to not finish it? Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> so, but I don't need to worry about that. Who cares? So what if I don't finish it or if I lose my appetite or feel anxious? So what, you know? So what, it's all just nervous energy, which I'm just talking it through with you guys, as I have mentioned previously. So yeah, busy hands, tidy mind. Sophie was talking about that on that podcast and you know, like how she's a natural home bird. She always have has, you know, like preferred staying in with her parents, getting a takeaway as opposed to going out when she was younger. Like even though she would go out, she'd almost feel like, yeah, it's great, but you know, like I'm not really enjoying it that much. I'd still rather be at home, you know, just in my PJs watching TV. But this is what I should be doing because I'm young and I should be out and about doing this sort of stuff. And I just, I feel like I can relate to her. So if she's as big as she is and she still, you know, like struggles with her mental health and like she's working on it and she's saying how she's pushing herself to do more things like this podcast, which she did from the comfort of her own home with her headphones on. She didn't need to go out and go to the studio or anything. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's quite nice listening to that. So if that's something that you think you would like as well, I would recommend that. I actually just watched it on YouTube whilst I was getting ready. But yeah, I've just done my hair and a pony. Desperately needs a wash, but obviously doing yoga is no point. I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow actually, I think, because tomorrow's Friday. Saturday we're going to um, we're going to do some shopping with Tom's niece for her birthday. <sighs> so for now, namaste. I feel like we need to zen together this morning. So let's head off, let's get there. Let's see what this event with Glossier is gonna be like. It really is, we've switched out the little bow that I'm gonna offer you this practice As you know, this collaboration and this co-creation is with Glossier and it's to celebrate a new natural deodorant. So we're going to utilize it as we work through this practice today. And with this practice, it's kind of designed to restore the system. Let's, let's come to lie down to start. We'll end in this place as well. So set it up well. <laughs> like down three meters of <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a really big breath in and feel that breath move through your landscape. And then part the lips and rebound. Yeah, that's it. Pull the toes under and we'll lift ourselves into downward facing dog. And I'm just going to give you about 60 seconds here to, yeah, just taste yourself. That's
put with Glossier. I'm so like, again, like, you know what I was saying this morning, all nervous energy. I'm just totally, yoga just relaxes me. It really does. And it was a proper yin yoga nidra type workout, workout. Real, it's kind of like a more of a restorative type um, yoga that we did today. So I just felt like that totally zened me. And then afterwards we were all like so chilled out that we had like a buffet lunch type thing, which we all said was perfect because after doing yoga, you don't really want to have a big meal. So obviously for me, that was like ideal. Food was delicious. Loved the yoga, got some amazing bits to try. And essentially, I can't remember if I mentioned it already, but it was in celebration. Today's event was in celebration for their deodorant. Now, I do believe they're actually already sold out of this. If they're restocking or if they have plans to restock, I'll try and let you know, but I'll leave a link to them anyway. But this is what the deodorant is like, and it comes in a refill stick. So the scent is Orange Blossom Neroli, which sounds amazing and then they also included in here um some body hero like moisturizer daily perfecting cream they call it these are some of like their best sellers and this body hero this one is the daily oil wash and then what else last but not least is this balm.com universal lip balm well i say universal lip balm i'm assuming yeah, use on lips, on cuticles, on elbows, on your friend, anywhere that needs some love. So yeah, thank you so much to Glossier for having us, first of all, because it was such a lovely event. I think I'm gonna round up today's video here. Hope you guys have enjoyed a bit of an insight into what influencer events are like, seeing as though we had a couple this week and I thought I would bring you along, but I do have a couple more upcoming. So if this is something that you quite like to see, then do let me know. I personally, as a viewer of vlogs, I actually quite like the at home, relaxed, chilled out content as well. So I'm still gonna be doing that. Um, but yeah, if you do wanna come with me on these influ if influencer events, blogger events, whatever you want to call them, then by all means do let me know. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I've got loads of editing to do this afternoon and then I'm going to go pick up money from daycare and finish my day. So yeah, feeling very good, very happy, sending you all the positive, happy vibe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.